Hello guys, welcome to another Jira administration tutorial from rcvacademy.com. In this tutorial, we are going to understand a bit more about the user management and the application access for the Jira users and members. So to get started, we'll go to the administration, Jira administration section and click on the Jira management, user management link and provide the administrator password there now we are in the user management page again which we have already covered with crowd installation and configuration uh, we'll get we'll get more details on this user management page so you can get you know like all the details about the user uh, full name username when did he log in and which group does he belong to what application access he has and which directory uh does it come from whether it's from internal directory jira internal directory or the external ldap or crowd server and the different actions that are available so at the moment external directory is only uh, configured in the read only mode so you can't edit any of the users which are coming from the external directory or the crowd server okay now we'll see the application access for these users as well so if you see the users here uh, Alex B who is the member of developers group and uh, coming from the crowd server he doesn't have application access to any uh, application like no Jira software access or no Jira service desk access so if you see the applications that are installed in this instance so if I go to application access uh, applications you can see you know like in the applications tab in the administration or also from here if you could just directly go to applications you'll come back to the application access now here we have three applications Jira service desk Jira software and Jira core and if you go to the user management we can see that Alex has access to Jira software but LXB doesn't have access to any of the application so LXB would be um, you know like uh, he, he'll be able to log in but he won't be able to access any of these application and now let's see and try to log in with LXB uh, who doesn't have any access to any of the application and coming from the crowd server and and who has access to Jira software and how does it uh, look like for the both you uh, both both users so let's get the username so Anne's username is a fam and going back to Alex uh, Alex B's username is Alex B all right so I log off and then try to log in as uh, Anne first and then see what all access she has Oops, something is not correct maybe we need to change our password maybe uh, so I'll log in as administrator again and reset her password because her password looks incorrect so I'll go to user management again and reset Anne's password so I'll go to Anne's user profile and in the actions I can set the password for her so that I can log in as Anne. So I'll update that. Now let's log off and try to log in again as Anne. All right, so now Anne is able to log in. There was some issue with the password, so I reset that uh, by logging in as Jira administrator for Anne. And now she is able to log in and she is able to configure the Jira instance. Uh, she has access to Jira, uh, so she'll choose the details. So English as a language, you can update the avatar from here. I'll just leave it as default. And then she can go ahead and uh, explore the current project or create an issue and search issue so that means she has access to the Jira instance so we'll go to explore the current projects 
and now you can see I'm logged in as Anne and uh, here uh, she has access to the project here RCV Academy and she can open the project right so it's still loading so she can view the sample sprint and data in the sprint right now going back to the login of the other user who doesn't have any access to application um, so here you, you can notice that since Anne is not the administrator of this Jira instance he doesn't have admin rights and the cogwheel is not available here right so we'll just log off as Anne and then try to log in as Alex B and see how so if you log in as Alex B you can see you are redirected to the service desk portal and it says it looks like you don't have access to this help center um, and so it basically redirected him and he doesn't have any access at all so if he goes to the profile and he can just see um, the profile right so now we go back to a log off and I'll go back to the Jira instance again and log in as administrator okay now LXP doesn't have any application access so now what if we provide or change the application access or provide application access to LX and see how the behavior changes for LX so if you go to application access so either you go from here click on applications and it will open the applications page and then you can update the application access so now here we have application access so you can provide the Jira software or Jira core or Jira service desk access to the group so what we'll do is we'll just type in the developers group which is coming from the crowd and provide them the access to Jira software that's not the best practice um, however just to demo I'll add that group in the Jira software access and then go back to the users and see whether LX has the application access to Jira software now right so now you can see LXB has access to Jira software and another person who was the member of developers group M Kumar also has access to Jira software right so if we go back and log off and log in as LXB I should be able to access Jira software so I'll log in as LXP and then so here uh, sorry all right so now I'm logged in as LXP here if you see the profile and I do have access to the Jira instance and similarly if we log out and log in as M Kumar who is also the member of developers group and coming from the external directory should be able to access Jira as well so now welcome to Jira because he has Jira access and he should be able to configure the Jira instance and explore the current projects because he has been added into the Jira software application access so that is pretty much uh, all about the user management 
uh, and how you can provide the application access to the users in your Jira instance. Thank you very much for watching. Please do share and subscribe.